Oh, wait. Hey, we're on the set of Red Billabong. These guys I've worked with before, and it's really good to be working with a family again. We all trust each other and work really well together. Okay, and talking to me. Night shoots, sure. The night shoots uh, are going well. Um, they can be a little crazy, I think full moon or whatever. But no, the, um, the cast and the, the crew especially work so hard. You think you're going to attack it one way and then you just get here and the you know, location's just amazing and you just put yourself in that person's shoes. And action! Go on, go! Uh, yes, I believe his name is Tristan Marshall. Um, he's a bit of a lone ranger, a bit of a uh, kind of looks after himself, not totally by choice, but he has a bit of a chip on his shoulder about that that deals with it. Pretty fast now, so you have to run to catch up. I'm the, uh, the stepfather. We find there's a lot of layers there to uh, this person. There's definitely a uh, an underlying opportunist waiting to come out. And on my first day, I'm literally shooting my last scene. Um, so that's been really interesting, really fun to kind of jump ahead and imagine all the crazy things that we're going to go through. Yeah, exactly. And when we discussed last year, this was a, a lot bigger sequence and it's sort of come down to an Australian movie, but I think it's actually working better. It works for the story, absolutely. Yeah. And it works yeah. for us for the <laughs> Not having to reveal, reveal him so soon. Uh, they're from Cutting Edge in Brisbane and I've been working with them for about a year. It's a big task and we knew that going in. I'd like everybody to follow my journey here on Red Billabong. It really is a team effort and it's going to be worth it in the end for you guys.